Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're really really well. It's John here and uh, I'm out in the countryside near where we live, probably about 10-12 kilometers from where we live and uh, just met some very interesting people in the last few days and um, they've brought us out to their farm. So uh, we saw this sign, Nandi Milk Farms, Organic Milk and uh, it just seemed like there was some something very interesting about it that uh, these people are making uh, or rather sort of getting non-GMO milk and kind of farming their land and kind of um, sort of doing things in a much smaller scale way turning away from from big industry to just kind of having a few cows and uh, uh, you know a, a decent but kind of smallish piece of land and just kind of doing everything on a much smaller more human more humble scale and uh, they delivered our milk yesterday because we were very interested in in trying out this milk uh, that hadn't come from you know the usual sort of machine of industry and then when we when I got talking to the young guy delivering the milk saw of my friend who you'll meet in a few minutes I hope um, he just invited us out to the farm to come and meet these guys who I'll show you now. So here they are, here are the cows, well that's a bull. <laughs> and uh, they've all got names, uh, of which I'm not remembering at the minute. I know this one here, this pretty lady, is called Priyanka. These are some of the babies, younger cows. The cow shed is being cleaned at the moment. This is where the cows come in for their milking. And the cows are hand milk, no machines. Everything is done, like I say, on a much smaller scale, old fashioned but real. Organic. And uh, what is organic basically? Uh, the people using the farmers in India are basically uneducated. They don't aware about even a single thing, but are they putting in their field just like pesticides and just all the things? Who's this so, cow again? Yes. So just uh, to improve the health life, so just improve the health life of the people and our family that we have just started at the business and uh, after all this, this is no more business, this is just for me, I got interest and lovable animals just like me. So it's you, so your love of animals, your love of cows yes. that got you going. Yes. This, who's this again? Yeah, this is the same Chappie. Chappie, <laughs> Chappie, you're so friendly. Yes, he's You're just friendly. so friendly yes, and beautiful. And so, how's it going? How's things going? You've started uh, doing milk just, deliveries? Yes, uh, just uh, in starting we get uh, some hard ups, but after that, day by day, day by day, we're improving. Yeah. So you, you, you're going out in the local area, yes, yeah, we and you've got these signboards that you put yes, up, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we're in public, in shops, in different shops, we're going to do their signboard. We, I will go there where 10 people, 15 uh, people are get together, and I will go and tell them what is milk. There are different kinds of milk, there are different types of foods, everything. Because in India, India is a developing country which is for going for day by day by day. But they are going wrong, they, but they are going in wrong way of food. Yeah. Just like yeah. junk food, oil, everything yeah. in India is chemically processed. Um, yeah. so What's happening in India at the minute is, is that the kind of the westernization process yes. Is, yes. is taking place. Mm, yes, westernization. And, and so we're getting KFC. And uh, Burger, Burger and King and all the sort of things. All, all the sources are coming, but uh, these all things are coming with alliteration. Because yeah. in India there is no check of food. No. Okay, but I no the nutrition's going down, going, isn't it? People, people, are, people are rejecting. Are rejecting me. People, people are not rejecting. People are not aware about their health. Yeah. Uh, just like in uh, in our life, there are five things in life is important: well air, well food, well exercise, well water, and. Uh, uh, well, yeah, these are five things in life which is very important. You will never get ill. Yeah. If your digestion system is properly okay, if you eat sleep, you eat well, you will do eat ex you will do exercise daily. You can't get uh, 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 sorry, uh, 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 you can't get uh, ill. And after that, the main thing in this is our is we have to control the pesticides. Just like uh, we use the, uh, their cow dung and urine in our fields to make the manure and basically the manure which is coming in India is uh, first of their chemicals and they are duplicate. So what's your process of kind of moving more towards organic with these cows? There's uh, no GMOs? No, there is no GMOs. But you, you are you using some antibiotics with them or because one of the big things is the overuse in UK 
there's a massive use of I mean, antibiotics in no, food. No, 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 no. And, things, they, and of course, they, that's passed in, into in our the, food. They, there is a land over us in our tiny cut we have. And we are not using a single percent of GMOs. We are not using antibiotics. And these all things are we are doing uh, with uh, GMOs and pesticides, uh, and all the things are we are making from uh, their urine. Yeah. Because their urine is it's itself is a medicine, and people drink their there is a cancer cure in their milk. And the main thing of their uh, the main thing in India is milk. Just we have the it's main, huge main milk, milk huge drinking, milk. isn't it? The last report of WHO of India is four months back. You can understand the 70 percent of milk and milk products are fake in India, which are made through spirit, uh, urea, shampoos. There is a product called methamline, which is banned in China in 2007. Methamline is a product which get fat in milk. You can make from make them from paneer, curd, ghee, different items they are making. They just all are fake. Just we are going so it's to actually. Actually, artificial products product in the milk, milk instead of actually and being milk. milk. Basically, day by day, people are getting ill of a uh, serious cause, just like cancer, heart problems. There is an and what's, this what, what's it derived from? Is it petroleum based or plastic based? Or? It's anything based. Yeah? It is anything based. Or it's soy. It's separate, it's from shampoo, it's right. from urea. They can, build, they can make, they can make stuff out of anything. Thing. Because there is no check of milk in India because there are little, because uh, first thing is population. Even with, even with the big, even, even like with Verka and things like that, with the big brands? Yes, yes. And every brand, every brand in India in milk has got fake. Yeah. Every brand, just you get, just the main brands are Amul, Vita, Verka, Mother Dairy, the, the basic brands of the milks are really uh, full of really fake materials. Yes, because these all are the corporate society. They don't have in a single cow over there. And the main thing after that ki the people they are collecting from the milk from the people are just up they have to make money because uh, people are not getting the particular rate prices because they have to survive because right now with the modernization of India everyone wants to be a better life just like everyone wants a but that's house. being driven by this idea that money will give you the better life yes, yes. rather than building yourself better up from, from nutrition, nutrition health, health air and, and so on people are and the, actually looking after the land and the country tree. Yes, because yeah. the, uh, the problem of India, I mean, is of population. But the population of India is very, very big to handle and understand. And to uh, understand them, people, yes, you are doing wrong, you are doing wrong, they can't understand. Just they can spray for just example. Uh, the pesticides we are using here, they are duplicate. And the quantity of the pesticides from, uh, pesticide is near about 10 to uh, 2,000 times, 500 times bigger which are we are using, which is very dangerous to health. I love you. <laughs> she just wants to be involved, doesn't she? Yes. She just likes to be in everything. Come on, come on, you can be in. Come on in, come on in. Here she is, look. There you are. You be in. See? We've got a fa uh, Bollywood star here, I think. <laughs> Imagine, you know? <laughs> He's going to be a Bollywood yeah, star. And just these cows are, uh, just really, these animal is a very highly intelligent animal. Just Bakri. Bakri. <laughs> hello, Bakri. And this one? Uh, Lakshmi. Lakshmi, hello, Lakshmi. Oh, yes, Lakshmi, you're Lakshmi. a bit shy, aren't you? That's right. Bakri. Uh, in India, the main problem is just coming like uh, uh, cancer. Main problem of cancer in coming day by because air, water, and land, everything is get polluted. And we, if we don't uh, fix, to, if we start today, then it will, will take a whole long time to revive it. <laughs> but what we are not just going to no, start. No, we're not even going to start today. Start right. today. That's right. Just there are kind uh, of few percent people who are in this field, who loves nature, who can understand the uh, feel of nature. Uh, because if you can't breathe, you can't live. No, that's right. That's let's, right. Leave, let's leave that there. If you can't yeah. breathe, you can't, can't live. live. That's it. It's as That's simple it. as that. Breath yeah, is life. Yeah. Breath is life and yeah. Mother Nature is life. Absolutely. So if you can, can't handle Mother Nature, yeah. then she will well, also thank destroy you. you. Thank okay. you so much. Thank okay. you. You know, India is developing, uh, or what we call developing, uh, in the kind of the normal world, we, we use the word developing. But what that actually means a lot of the time is, is that um, we just take on board things that are just not healthy for us in any way that we're not considering from the level of kind of awareness and basic consciousness the effect of the food on our bodies the effect that we're having on the landscape how we're treating the animals and so on these animals are not kind of 
fed on antibiotics and pumped. You can see how friendly they are, there's no fear in them. Um, there are some sort of obviously much more aggressive breeds, but this, this breed is a very calm and, and kind sort of breed. Um, some of them I think will go on to be Bollywood and TV stars, some of these cows. There's so, uh, so much personality going on. But um, yeah, I've got a lot that I want to share with you in upcoming videos. Uh, some interesting stuff that's just sort of come in in the last few days that people have been suggesting to me and things and I'd love your advice and guidance on some of that and share some of those ideas with you and um, I just hope you enjoyed meeting the cows you know and uh, you know forgive my wayward camera work and uh, uh, Saurabh's nervousness he's just very keen to try and do something uh, that makes a difference and in a world that's absolutely hell-bent on going in the other direction It's it's quite a thing to see. I was very impressed uh, by The movement that's kind of coming through him uh, and I just hope that that it kind of leads others to think that They can perhaps bring something more of life into what they're doing rather than being just this empty onward movement that never ceases that doesn't lead us anywhere you know consciousness is going to be the only thing not going to be the only thing consciousness is the only thing that can make any difference now the way the world is going in our politics in the way that our business runs and everything it's only that awareness of sort of truth in the self and being within ourselves that's going to change anything now um, that thing will just keep on turning until we decide for ourselves that that we're leaving the whirlwind of things anyway lots of love to you uh, yeah it's just great I'm gonna go and hang out with the cows some more because uh, I just love being around them and uh, I think they're making us a really nice lunch as well so bless you uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel if you uh, uh, are not signed up to us um, Check out Authentic Living if you want to see more of what I'm doing and I'll check in with you again. I'm on my way back to England in the next few days. I'll check in with you again and uh, I'll share some of this other stuff that I want to share with you. And like I say, I need your guidance and advice. So lots of love. Take care.